here's a little uh, Hey Terry preview for everyone. Uh, by the time you're hearing this, maybe it's up on the site already at cleveland.com slash Browns. Terry maybe has answered it already, but Terry, tell us about this question you got from a fan. A lot of times I do these Hey Terry, I'll find some old pictures of Rocky Calavito or whoever it is. And I ran one of Bernie with a curly, curly hair sign and autograph. So it's kind of a training camp picture. And um, world is that who was better, Bern, Brian Seif or Bernie Coza? Go ahead, Scott. Ooh. Oh, Jack, I give you my, my answer right here off the bat. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with Brian Seif. It's close, but he was an MVP for one. Mm -hmm. And number two, he's the all-time – passing yardage leader. I think he, he's also leads in touchdowns too in Brown's history. Um, he's a great story. He's a 13th round pick played on a, well, he didn't even play his first couple of years. He's on the taxi squad back then. He yeah, had to work his way onto the team. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm going to say Brian Seip. I know that people around my age have maybe fonder memories of Bernie Kosar because that's what you grew up watching. But, um, I caught the tail end of Brian Sipe's career, and that's, he's always at the top of the list for me. But it is close. I'm going to go with Bernie. Not, not just to, like, be opposite of Scott, but I, I'm going to go with Bernie. Why you, hold on, Danny. You can tell me why, but I'll tell you why you went with Bernie. You're right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I went with Bernie in part, in big part, because, you know, I think the stats are pretty close um he, I, he's not that far behind well I, i'm looking at his career numbers not just his browns numbers um so maybe he is farther behind sipe on the actual browns list but you know i know there's always this debate about quarterback wins and and how much how much credit does the quarterback get when it comes to winning but it's just hard for me to not take into account um the the amount of winning the browns did especially in the late 80s with, with bernie as the quarterback we, we know about the afc championship games uh, you know, did everything he needed to do in the drive game. You know, same with the fumble game. They were that close to getting to a Super Bowl with him as the quarterback. Uh, and and I, I just think that's kind of the separator for me, I guess, with, with Bernie. And, and obviously, maybe there's a, a deeper quarterback wins discussion and how much we need to, to count all of that. And, of course, Sype certainly had, had his share of wins as well with cardiac kids. But I, I think that separates a little bit for me with Bernie. Well, you're right. How's that? <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Uh, and, and there's nothing to knock on Scott or Brian because Bernie had that certain intangibles because, even as you mentioned, even in these, quote, big games they lost, it wasn't because they only scored 10 points or something. I mean, it, the, a lot of times they were, you know, defense, defensive problems or things like that. And, and you know, I saw them both, but as both of you know, and I've always confessed to this, I am not a football fanatic, you know, where I, the other two sports I'm more comfortable in. Uh, but I do think certain players, and it transcends any sport, their presence and their ability to have their team rise up. And I really thought, and Brian had some of that, Bernie had a ton of that. I, I would be curious, um what those teams would have looked like, you know, Bernie's teams, if Bri if Sype were the quarterback. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know, if you changed them out, would Sype have done just as much? I, I think that's a, that, that would be interesting. Um, and, and you know, one thing that, uh, one, one thing that Bernie was, doesn't have is with uh -oh. the Brian Sype doll. And I know I knew you were going to bring that. Not, not everybody out. can see the video oh. here on our zoom call, but uh, you know, my grandmother I mean, and my mother made this uh, Brian Seif doll, which the rest of my family is pretty sure will come to life one night and terrorize all of us. Yes. That's why I have to leave it in the basement here. Scott, you know, it is kind of creepy that you have that, but it does explain why you picked Brian Seif. Because, you know, if you turn on that little doll, you'll <laughs> become like a really bad Netflix movie. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm not, not that creepy. Come back. on. I mean, Put that up there, Scott. I'm it's got it's those good. dead eyes, I know, but it's, it's yeah. you know, it's endearing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a force thing on your wall, too, Bob.